What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping into the next one on our History Matters journey. Get up and show them all the love in the world. If you haven't done so already, a short animated documentary of the Norwegian Crusade. Let's go on a journey and see what we got. Definitely go show the go show the content creator some love. Let's if you go. were asked to think of notable crusaders, likely candidates would include Richard the Lionheart, Raymond of Toulouse, or Frederick Barbarossa. Very few would ever think of King Sigurd I of Norway, who was in fact the first king to personally go gallivanting off to the Holy Land. Norway, which was currently going through a period of independence from Denmark, had converted to Christianity in the late 10th century. By the time of Sigurd I's reign, which he shared with his brother Aistine, the kingdom had been Christian for over a century. The Scandinavian world had a pretty poor relationship with Rome, but the first monarch to personally take up the Pope's call to arms was of course Sigurd. You should be aware though that there is still some debate as to whether or not this was a crusade or a pilgrimage. So we don't know. If it was, maybe that's why it's not mentioned as much. We're definitely going to learn something today. Uh, I like the history that you don't really hear about or history that I've never learned about. This is definitely up there. When I think the Crusades, I don't think about Norway at all, but perhaps we should be. You should be aware, though, that there is still some debate as to whether or not this was a crusade or a pilgrimage. Sigurd left Norway in 1107 to begin his journey to Jerusalem and stopped off in England in order to winter there. Sigurd left early next year without burning the country down or conquering it, which was a nice change of pace, and headed south to Iberia. And Iberia was, at this point, divided between the Christian realms to the north and the numerous Islamic ones to the south. Sigurd's fleet sailed to northern Iberia and took refuge in Jacob's land, otherwise known as Santiago. The lord of the city allowed Sigurd to remain and purchase whatever food he needed until the winter came when he changed his mind. As such, Sigurd agreed to leave peacefully, and just kidding, he sacked the city and- I was gonna say, there's no way he left peacefully after being turned away like that, like, you, you, you can't make promises like that, and then in the winter, like, make my people freeze and starve. No, 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 we're gonna get the food. When he changed his mind. As such, Sigurd agreed to leave peacefully, and just kidding, he sacked the city and stole all of the food anyway. They passed Norvesund, nowadays called Gibraltar, and made their way to the Balearic Islands. And it was here that one of the most important parts of the Norwegian Crusade occurred. You see, the Balearic Islands were also Muslim-held, but geographically important too. They were, for the most part, safe havens for pirates, but were also major centres in the Mediterranean slave trade. They had long been a thorn in the side of many Christian kingdoms, mostly due to raids on their coastlines, and so when 5,000 Norwegian Crusaders turned up, it didn't bode well for the islands or their inhabitants. Upon reaching the first island, Sigurd and his men defeated the pirates there and stole all of their riches. The Norwegians then moved on and raided the rest of the islands barring Majorca, which had a sizable population as well as some decent fortifications. Sigurd's exploits here were circulated around the Mediterranean Christian world and weakened the island's ability to resist the future Christian conquest. After this, the fleet sailed south to Sicily, where they were welcome to stay for the winter. In 1110, the fleet finally reached the Holy Land, and Sigurd was greeted by... They probably heard about the last place that didn't welcome them to stay for the winter. Welcome to stay for the winter. In 1110, the fleet finally reached the Holy Land, and Sigurd was greeted by the King of Jerusalem, Baldwin I. The Norwegians, in the end, remained there for several months and received many relics and gifts to return home. Sigurd also, notably, aided Baldwin in the conquest of Sidon by blockading the city's port. After this, the Norwegians made for home, but they didn't go back the way that they came. Instead, they opted to head home via the great city of Miklagard, or Constantinople as it's known, to visit the Byzantine Emperor. Once there, Sigurd gifted his ships to the Emperor before making his way back home over land. Sigurd returned to Norway by 1111, where he was granted the epithet, the... He returned by land? That's so uh, he oh no i oh, don't know because then you're in a straight line right across the land instead of sailing all the way around the ocean i still don't think that i would be like way back too home keen on crossing Sigurd returned to all Norway by 11 11 where he was granted the epithet the crusader and thus the norwegian crusade was now over and whilst it isn't a well-known historical event today, at the time, Sigurd's adventures were widely circulated and celebrated around the Christian world. He set the trend of kings personally taking part in a crusade and continued the trend of seaborne Norsemen turning up off your shores and just taking what they wanted. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching, with extra thanks to these patrons you can see on screen for their continued support. And an extra special thanks to James Bizanet, David Archaeologist, Azarka Flash, Danny Maloney, Party Boyko, Kulin Castleman, Rob Waterhouse, Chris Wicker, Gustav Swan, David Silverman, Winston Kaywood, Christian Cheke, Maggie Pakskowski, Lexi Schwinn, Anthony Beckett, Robert Wetzel, Sky Chappelle, Ike, Spinning Three Plates, Aaron the White and Michael Reynolds. 
Hey, 100% get over and show history matters, all the love in the world. I'm saying you could write a whole movie about Sigurd. You really, really could. And I didn't even know that he was a part of any crusades. There's other names out there that stand out. But now we know. This is why we like some history lessons. Send me more interesting history that you guys have. We'll definitely learn a little something alongside of you. Smash the like button if you liked it. The dislike button, but I won't believe you. Tell the next one of my the combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. Love you to the boo, the back. Peace.